I'm ready to get going on the bookcase. I just finished writing the blog post um, for the nursery reveal that I did for my sister-in-law last week. So that will be on my blog tomorrow and I can't wait to show you. But right now, let's work on my bookcases and I'm gonna show you kind of what I do. Okay, I went down to my basement. Obviously I took out all my Christmas and when, when I put my Christmas in, I basically take out a lot of the everyday stuff because it gets too cluttery. So I brought up kind of the colors I wanna work with from my basement and some plants. This basket right here, that used to have our Christmas tree in it. Remember, it was right there. So I just brought it up there because I wanted something big in that space. I used to have the Christmas tree, so I kind of filled it in with the green. I had these at Christmas. I think I'm going to leave a lot of I this. I just added like those lights to the jars. Those I just got on Amazon. They're battery operated. So I'm kind of going with a color scheme, and I think that helps a lot. So I'm using whites and kind of the basket tones to tie in my rug. So I'm going to kind of repeat that same theme. Okay, on I think this that side's side. done. I added that green book to kind of tie in some more green and then um, to give it a little bit more height. Okay, now I just added that plant there. This is the one I just got when we were shopping. I added the pitcher to kind of balance out just single, single. So that. that shelf used to be raised up. It was even with this side. I think so, that's how it was. Okay, but anyways, I moved it down so I could do this plant. So don't be afraid to adjust your shelves and just do like bigger pieces rather than a okay, lot Okay, little... here's the other side. So I added those baskets down below. I just like to keep a basket uh, so we can kind of put catch-all stuff in there. Then I have books stacked that we're actually reading right now. I added some candles that we can light. Um, and then you notice how I... to be held right now, aren't you? So <laughs> that's why I'm being sporadic on this. Okay, I wanted to show you those. See how I have a white pitcher there? I put one up there. Oh, I gotta stand up. And then on that side, I have the white pitcher. So I kind of repeat it. Okay, here's the finished look. I think, I mean, I'm sure I'll play with it a little bit more, but hopefully that kind of gave you some good tips and helped. Um, see, I kind of have the wood tones mixed in here and kind of throughout the room. I still need to I'm getting lots of here. questions on these lights. I love, I should have done this earlier, but I don't like how that thing's connecting right there. So I'm going to get one for each jar and one with a remote control. I just found these right here. Hello. We've been out running around all day today, but when I got home, I had something on my doorstep and I'm going to show you because it's the finishing pieces to the bookcase. So I got those lights. I'm gonna, the twinkle I ones. I did the copper ones. Remember, it bugged me to have them connecting. So I just have one in each. And then it comes with a remote. So it comes with four remotes. I got a pack of four, but I can use the same remote uh, for a show. You can do some crazy settings in here. All right, here's the other side. So I ended up balancing out the glass over here too. Um, I stole Kevin's change jar. So it's basically mine anyways, right? I got it from Goodwill and it, look how cute the copper lights look in they there. They do come with this big old bulky battery pack that you really can't shove in a jar. So you kind of got to be strategic, right? So I hid it in these bowls. I got those at Goodwill too. Goodwill for the win, right? Everything has to be from anthropology. <laughs>